Hello, uh, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Uh, today I'm going to be walking you through how to update our blog marketing bundles. Um, for this example, we're using the Clio template. Um, we also have a Jane template uh, with different designs um, and hopefully we'll have some more coming soon. Um, we are going to be using Adobe XD today. That's where our templates are built. Um, and if you don't have Adobe XD, it is free. Uh, they do have a premium version, but, um, that's really mostly if you have like a lot of team members that you have to share work with or, uh, need a lot more space. Um, I truly believe that most people can get away with just the free plan. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. If you haven't downloaded Adobe XD, download it. Um, and if you haven't purchased, um, either the Clio or the Jane or even the Amelia opt-in bundle. It works very similarly. Um, I highly suggest going and signing up for it because I think this will um, like change your life. Um, anyways, um, I'm gonna walk you through how to use this, how to set it up um, and a couple different things throughout. <laughs> um, we'll dive into like other detail topics in other videos, so definitely check those out. Um, but for now, we're just gonna dive into how to uh, add and customize this bundle. Okay, so to begin with, we have um, sizes for blog posts, Pinterest, Instagram, slash Facebook, Instagram stories, Twitter, and then also like Facebook slash LinkedIn. Um, these two had like both size recommendations. Um, so overall, this is 42 different graphics. We have um, seven unique designs, um, one of which is just the photo. Uh, so you can kind of play around with that in case you need it. Um, and the great thing about this is you have the graphics you need to market your business on multiple platforms without having to do them over and over and over again. Um, so instead of going here, we are going to ignore this for section for now. We are going to slide over to the left where it says main components. I am using a Apple computer, so I'm going to hit command plus to zoom in. Uh, there's a zoom in button here. Um, and I think it's control plus for, uh, windows, but, um, I'll, I'll double check on that later. Okay, so under here, we'll have main components. So this is the area where you're gonna change everything. So your background colors, the text, images, and any accent lines or arrows that we are included on the designs um, will all be changed on here. Um, everything is kind of labeled as clearly as possible. Um, and for this example, I should pull some colors uh, already just so I can make it a little bit faster. Um, but I'll show you on these background colors how to change that. First and foremost, this is what's called a main component in Adobe XD. So if you, if you zoom in, you'll see that it highlights a green box. And when you click on it, there's going to be a on the upper left hand side, a green diamond. That means it's a main component. So what is a main component? A main component is will essentially control anything else that was derived from here, um, which is essentially what all the other ones um, were created from. So this will affect all the changes unless something is done uniquely on its own. Okay, so you should want to make sure that if you are trying to make global changes that you are highlighting this green diamond box. Okay, um, again, if you get my template, they're all clearly labeled here under main components, so it should be quite easy. So when you are going to double click until you see the blue, and then that's where you're going to see like some more of these options. Um, if you are just on the green, you're not going to see like very many. So just double 
click and make sure the blue is highlighted. So for background colors, uh, you have a couple options on how you want to add colors. If you um, are, if you already have like a hex color, you can just add that in. So let's say I want, I don't even know what color this is gonna be. Okay, that's the color. So if that's your brand color, you can just type it in. If it's a color you wanna save, let's say this black, then you can hit this plus to save the swatch. So then you can reuse it and it's a little bit easier. So if, um, if for some reason you wanna be like changing these around, to kind of customize it even further, um, you can add in all your brand colors here. Again, I have some swatches on this, so I will we'll double click. And instead of hitting fill, I'm just gonna go to this eyedropper tool and select and it will change the color. Uh, there's also an eyedropper here. Um, if you want to change the opacity, you can go here, um, change like whatever color using this. You can do that as well. Uh, that's kind of close, so let's go here. This one is an overlay, uh, so you can kind of see that. I'm going to leave this one the same. Or let's make it a little bit darker. Okay. So next, I'm going to go to the text. So we have the title, subtitle, slash description, category, and business name. Here you're gonna just add in your title. So for this case, as an example, let's do how to use Adobe XD to create graphics. So from here, you can go and again, customize it to fit your branding by choosing your fonts. Let's do a free font that's already included. Um, and just a couple text uh, options. You can uppercase, lowercase, title case. Um, let's change the alignment. Uh, the main thing you want to kind of focus on here is just the font style and the um, like if you want it regular, bold, italic, et cetera, because a lot of the sizing um, changes are done on an individual level. So let's just go here. Create 42 graphics in seconds. Um, and I've been using XD for a little while, but honestly, once I started doing this for my blog post, um, like kind of once you get the hang of it, it really does take seconds. Um, and um, uh, yeah, honestly, I think it's game changing. Um, so just change that. That's fine. Let's just let's say it's business tip. And then your business name. This can also be like your URL. Uh, it totally depends on what you want. But okay. Um, and then images. Uh, I've downloaded a couple from Pexels. So we're just going to add those in. You can just drag and drop it. Um, if you've ever used Canva or any type of drag and drop, it's essentially the same, which is beautiful. Okay, and then I like the accents this color, but again, you can just highlight these, um, you know, change the color if you want, uh, same thing. And then let's change this fill. You'll see on this one, you have like a fill option and a border option. Um, let's, let's say, let's just make it real bold um, and do that if you want to. Um, change any of that you can do that um, images also have a border um, in this particular design option but again you can make those changes so let's zoom out I'm clicking command uh, minus oh and let me just because this is too dark let's, let's just go here 
Okay. Okay, so then let me zoom back out and you can see that all of these have updated. And you can go through now and see like all the titles have changed, the photos, um, and again, you'll kind of like play around with like the photos. Some have different layouts. If you want the same photo on all of them, you'll add the same photo to both of these. Um, and you'll kind of just see like wh what color goes where. But again, all of these have now been updated. Um, one thing you will probably have to do mostly, I would say on, especially on the first update is going through and quickly resizing um, and like making sure everything fits. Uh, sometimes the font is like way bigger um, than like the example font just in terms of sizing. So you kind of have to go in and, and touch up on those details. Also, it will depend um, on like how long your uh, blog title and description is um, if it's like super long then you're probably gonna just have to like expand it or shrink the size um, I will show you how to do that right now so you have all of these like you can see here it's a little bit like going over so you just want to double click and you can resize um, and then like let's keep going Let's say I want this one to be 100. That fits better. You kind of just have to play with this. Again, usually on like the first round, um, unless my titles end up being like super uh, like long, I usually don't have to update it. So that's kind of nice. Um, but yeah, you can kind of just play with it um, to make sure that they're all sized correctly. Um, most of these should be good. You can just um, expand it. Um, once you get it, you can kind of like hit this to center it again. Um, this is like alignment. Let's. And again, you still want to make sure that like you're you're making changes to the blue one. Now, one thing you'll notice is. All of these changes are individual, so these won't get affected by here. Um, if for some reason you're like, oh no, what did I do? Like, I changed something and now it's no longer working. Um, the main thing you're going to want to do is highlight. Um, I do uh, like right click and then you should want to go to reset to main state. This will reset it to like whatever is being used there. And from there you can like remake the like resize or do whatever is needed. I forgot what that was, but we'll just kind of leave it. Um, it does happen occasionally if you like you kind of mess something up on this level. Um, that's going to be the kind of main way. Um, again, to like quickly go through it. Let's see. Like that's really bold. Hopefully someone clicks there. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, like this one's for some reason like giant. Let's do 60, that looks good. I can add some spacing. Um, and then, yeah, all of the rest look good. Oh, not this one. That's fine, but let's change this. That looks better. Um, again, it's like really easy to move around things and kind of like resize. Um, and then you have, again, you have like all of these posts, all of these graphics, everything is set up. So you have 42 graphics done. Um, I know this 
tutorial kind of took longer than a few seconds just because I'm walking you through everything. Um, but once it's all like set up and you're just, like going, you can update whatever you need. Um, and then you're pretty much all set. Like you have 42 graphics right here, different size sizes for different platforms, um, seven different designs. Um, and it's great if you want to like batch work your content, schedule out content, reuse content, but still make it look slightly unique. Um, and it's really fast, like rather than having to do all of these every single time and like changing the text for all of these, um, which in my opinion takes forever. Um, now all you have to do is update it on one side and then you're pretty much set throughout. Um, finally, to export, you can either, um, this is the way I like to do it, um, to highlight all of them, or if you want like specific ones, you can just click the main artboard, hit shift, to pick and choose, or again, to pick all of them, and then you can do file export selected or all artboards or what i do is command uh e and it's gonna like take you to wherever you um want to export it and you can export it as the png pdf jpeg svg um, and kind of like change whatever you want and then you should export it to your file and it's all done um, now another thing is if you want to go in here you can like change the um, covers the uh, titles of each of these um, unfortunately there's not like one way to do all of them <laughs> um, but you can just hit then you should like double click to change those if you need to um, but yeah that is all that is how you use our blog and social media marketing bundles. Again, this was the Clio. If you like these uh, design options, check out Dragonfly Avenue shop at shopdragonflyav.com um, and keep a lookout for other tutorials. Uh, let me know how this helps uh, you to create more content or just speed up your workflow in general. Um, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. And yeah, I'm excited. Thanks so much. Have a good day.